Hello YouTube. So, I know it's been a little while since we made a video. That's nobody's fault. Just things happen, life happens, you run out of time. Um, I've been working a lot, actually, here lately and it's been kind of crazy. I haven't been able to get much done in the shop. I've tried to get the power run. Um, I'm not quite done with that yet. Um, I've been helping, helping Tab and helping the boys and just all that. We're getting ready to go back to school, so the kids are pretty excited about that. And not only that, we're getting ready to have a baby. It's getting getting a lot closer. Um, it's, tab's 23 weeks or something. The due date is November the 5th. So that's just train wreck coming in. No, not that. Cannonballing. That's what it is. That date is just cannonballing closer and closer all the time but as many of you know I have the 68 it's it's been ridiculous I've been trying to get it down here trying to get something to happen trying to get it to get in the shop we had to get dirt pulled in so we could actually get in the shop um, and it just wasn't working very well so I wanted to have a car that I could get in and drive and have a good time for the rest of the summer. Um, yeah, and just go racing with Zane and, and, and have fun and cut up and take the family and all that. And the Mustang wasn't gonna do that. I don't even know that the Mustang will be ready by next year. And I mean, that's just the reality of it. You know, I don't get paid for YouTube. I have to work. I have two and a half kids. So it's, it's hard. So I got something that is going to get the heart of my Mustang and I think you guys are gonna like it so let me turn you around so you can check this thing out so this is my new to me 1923 Ford T-Bucket um, you can see on the the cowl there, it has a Mopar sticker. There's a Mopar Pentastar seat in it. Um, this car was running 650s with a bone stock uh, big block 440. Um, that's the little gas tank, actually all aluminum. So that's really cool. I actually really like that. Like if you've seen Zane's tea bucket, it's got the little jug on the front. Um, I like that. I just think this is cool because it's shaped like the, the grill shell on a tea bucket. Um, running a, a radiator out of a, uh, a guy told me yesterday, um, some little bitty car. I don't remember exactly what it was. Um, this car was tech to run at Bristol back in 2002 was the last time it was ran. Motor and transmission were pulled out of it gotten rid of um, it's a cool car I'm gonna take you and walk you around and kind of let you see it and uh, see some of the things that are really cool and some of the things that are gonna have to be fixed um, so you can see the coil over front suspension it's got the front beam it's actually running Anglia front beam with the small spindles so that's not the greatest um, as you can see, no motor and transmission, but we're going to take the one that was meant for the Mustang and put it in here. Something that I actually love about this car is that all four wheels and tires actually match. So, it's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, all the tires are going to have to be replaced and all that, but that, you know, it happens. So, we're running thir 31, 13, 15s, so they'll be pretty beefy they're not quite as big as Zane's but they'll still work um, this is an Oldsmobile rear end which I thought was kind of nuts I'd never heard of anybody using one and if you have you know please let me know because I I mean it's cool it's already narrowed but it is still running drum brakes which is weird um, well I guess it's not really that's weird it's just old school you got your master battery cutoff right there battery plate right there which I will probably end up doing something different with that 
because I don't know that I like the battery being out in the open. Um, drum brakes, running a 488 gear. He actually gave me a 513 and the drive shaft that would go to that rear end to a 727 um, Dodge transmission. And like I said, there's the Dodge Pentastar seat. It's actually really comfortable. It's not bad at all. I'd like to close in behind it a little bit though and get that taken care of. I really don't like the shifter location. I'm gonna move it like Zane's and put it just in the center um, and probably change to a ratchet shifter, like one of the, the straight up and down deals. Um, it has a delay box. I'm pretty sure that doesn't work just because this thing has been sitting outside for the last you know 20 years. Um, same thing with the switch panel. I, I just don't, don't think that's gonna work. Um, overall, the car is really cool. Um, it does need some work, but it's a ton closer to being able to be driven than my Mustang could even come close to right now. So that's the plan, is to take this thing and go have some fun with it. There's some races coming up. There's one in September that I really like to be ready for. Zane has promised that he would help help get it running. Um, like I said, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I have every part that I need except for a drive shaft and a torque converter. And both of those can be can be had for next to nothing. But this is my new T-Bucket, new race car. Hopefully in the next, next couple of videos, we'll be throwing this thing together and getting it, getting it moving. So thank you for sticking around. If you like the car, let me know, you know, tell me what you think. And I have a, an idea for the color scheme on this thing because I do plan to repaint it. Um, but just let me know what you think, you know, what, what should happen with it. And uh, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.